It's a question that the advocates and law officers regularly face, how to keep guns out of the hands of domestic violence offenders. But now Dallas is about to be the first city in Texas to do something about it. David Goins explains. When Estella Segovia shares her story. I didn't have guidance for someone to say, hey, this is not supposed to be happening to you. It is a reminder of the most frightening forms of domestic violence. After leaving her abusive ex-husband, he violated a protection order and went after her with a gun. Chose to shoot 14 bullets into my cousin's house on the day of my grandfather's funeral. She survived. Her abusive ex, Joseph Buckaloo, went to prison for life. The abusers just don't, they don't care. Most domestic violent cases end up here in Dallas Municipal Court, where misdemeanor cases for charges like threats or non-injury contact are tried and usually only result in fines. That's about to change. I, I'm thrilled we're doing this in Dallas. Council learned this week the city marshal's office will start reporting those classy guilty pleas to the state, which should make it harder for someone convicted of misdemeanor family violence to pass a background check for a gun. I think this is one of the methods that everyone is looking at of how we can enhance the family violence problem. Counties are already required to report misdemeanor family violence convictions to DPS, but it is voluntary for cities. So Dallas will be the first in Texas to take the step. Segovia says an important step. I think it's of the utmost importance. To prevent abusers from getting a gun. David Goins. To me, gives me a feeling of safety. Channel 8 News.